And tonight's crisis in the classroom, a mom posted it. Two News began asking questions about it. And tonight a state agency has taken down an educator training video on how to teach gender identity in the classroom. Brian Malahi live on the story you'll see only here on Two News. So Brian, what's in the video? Well, among other things, this video webinar, which has been optional to educators over the last couple of years, encourages teachers to wholeheartedly invite students to explore their gender and to have, quote, gender play in classrooms. The instruction taken down after we began asking questions about it. The webinar, paid for by COVID funds, was produced by the state to instruct teachers. When I was working directly in schools as a teacher. A presenter in the upper right is Dr. Yoel Arvizo Zavala. That's actually where I learned how important it was to model gender play and to do these things with students, especially young children. Why did you post this? Well, I thought that the public should know. Mom substitute teacher Lisa Logan put clips on her Twitter feed, including this webinar image showing a man handing a dress to what appears to be a boy. What's your reaction to the video being taken down? Well, it begs the question. If what they were teaching these educators was proper and right and good, then why would it have to be taken down? Tonight, the Utah Division of Multicultural Affairs, which made the video, confirms it's offline. Nubia Pena, division director, told me we want to do an internal review, adding we hired these individuals as subject matter experts. She said we love our LGBTQ youth and value parents. Take that courageous step. But the video gets a new look and listen. Ask somebody right uh, what um, or how they identify why not confront it in an educational setting well because i believe that fundamentally and squarely belongs with the parents logan believes teachers have no business asking young children about their gender identity the leader of the utah american federation of teachers told me tonight he has not seen the video but that union, the union does advise teachers before any instruction, make sure it complies with state and school district guidelines. Live in Salt Lake, Brian Malahi, KUTV 2 News.